Ahad Amab Arasbritlan, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grasa Thangneve the Voga de Hui, grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ. Welcome to St. Ilta's Church on the Feast of the Epiphany. Today we, rec we recall the visit of the wise men to pay homage to the infant Jesus. The wise men came from a faraway land to worship him. This shows us that people of every race, language and nation are included in God's family. As we offer this Eucharist for our parish, let us pray that we might build a truly inclusive church and a truly inclusive world. And so as the wise men arrive with the Holy Family, let us pray. The King's Lord brought myrrh, frankincense and gold. Lord, we have nothing of our own to bring. We bring you what you have given, our lives for your life. Amen. We say together, Father of glory, holy and eternal, look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our blindness, and your spirit draw us to that love shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear friends, the light of Jesus shines out as he calls all nations and peoples to his dawning brightness. Let us bring the darkness of our sin to be transformed by the light of Christ. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, let your glory shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. All nations come to your light and kings to your dawning brightness. Let your glory rise above us. Christ, have mercy. The riches of the sea will flow to you and the wealth of the nations come to you. Let your glory shine in our midst. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together the glory. A glory to God we give you thanks and praise. Of heavenly joy and earthly peace we sing. We worship you, to you our hearts we raise, Lord God, Almighty Father, Heavenly King. Lord Jesus Christ, the Father's only Son, you bore for us the load of this world's sin. O Lamb of God, your glorious victory won, receive our prayer, grant us your peace within. Alone, O Christ, you only are the Lord, at God's right hand in majesty most high who with the Spirit worshipped and adored, with all the heavenly host we glorify. And the collect for the day, let us pray. Gracious God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we who know you now by faith may at last behold your glory face to face, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. <clears throat> Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. 
lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you, your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses', nurses arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you, the wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young, maid, young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, all the nations shall call him blessed. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice. All the nations shall call him blessed. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another. All the nations shall call him blessed. The kings of Tarshish and of the Isles shall pay tribute. The kings of Arabia and, the, and Seba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him. All the nations do him service. All the nations shall call him blessed. Long may he live. May they be given to him gold from Arabia. Prayer be made for him always. May they bless him all the day long. All the nations shall call him blessed. A reading from the letter to Paul to the Ephesians. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. As I wrote in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I have become a servant according to the gifts of God's grace that was given me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ, and to make everyone see what is the plan of the hidden mystery in hidden mystery for ages in God who created all things. So that through the church the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. We have seen his star at his rising and have come to pay him homage. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Listen to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, 
in Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the lands of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. How strange yet again that we have, for very sensible reasons, made the decision that we shouldn't come together and worship in church for a short time once more. We are unable, like the visit of the wise men, to join together and kneel down as an assembled body and pay homage to Jesus in church. Does this mean that our worship at home is of less or differing worth, though? I certainly don't believe so. We hear in the Gospel reading that the wise men arrived at the house to greet the baby Jesus. And that has always been a reminder for us that in whatever circumstances and with whatever place we invite Jesus into, he will be with us. They didn't meet him in the temple. They didn't meet him in the street. They met him at home. This doesn't mean that we don't ever need to come together corporately. Indeed, as an incarnational people, we are called to gather in prayer and praise and to receive the sacrament. But our scattered worship at this very strange time certainly does ascribe true worth to God. The wise men brought gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Gold, a symbol of kingship on earth. Frankincense, a symbol of deity. And myrrh as a symbol of death. What gifts do we bring to the Prince of Peace? We may not be able to bring him gifts of monetary value. We are reminded in the words of the carol that we haven't been able to sing this year of what in fact we should bring that babe. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would give a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. But what can I give him? Give him my heart. At this epiphany time and always, we need to remember that if we are to ascribe true worth to God, and if we are to kneel down and pay him homage, we are to give ourselves. Through our self-giving, and his infinite love for us, we will be changed. If our hearts are truly open, our worship, wherever we are, will change us. 
if our hearts are open to God, we will always leave by a different road. Amen. And so we affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the light of Christ's glory has risen upon the world. Let us pray together for the world he has come to redeem, praying that the church will be a light to the nations. Let us pray. Let us pray for all the nations and leaders of the world. May the Lord scatter the darkness that covers the earth and divides the people and gather us all into his fold. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who do not know Christ, that at his appearing their hearts will overflow with joy. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church throughout the world, that we may be a radiant light leading others to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own parish community, that the promises of God may be put fulfilled in us, that we may bring the peace and light of Jesus to all who live in our town. We pray at this time for all who are afraid or scared, for all who are working to keep us safe, for all our healthcare workers and scientists. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all whose journey through life is difficult or burdened by suffering or illness. Illumined by the light of faith, may they rise as children of the day and walk in Christ's radiant glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us, good Lord, as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Eternal God, by the light of a star, you guided the nations to the dawning brightness of your Son, and the Magi's gifts unfold the riches of his mission. Listen to the prayers we offer in his name, that all may be gathered into one to enjoy forever the glory of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace, 
of the increase of his government and of peace there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And now we celebrate the revelation of your glory made manifest through the word made flesh. The wise men worshipped him as king of all the nations. At the river Jordan you commanded us to listen to your beloved son as he emerged from the waters of baptism. At Cana, he revealed his power to restore the new creation in the water made wine. You have anointed him as your Messiah, who brings hope and salvation to the world. And so, with the hosts of angels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim the glory of your name and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All praise and thanks to you, true and living God, creator of all things, giver of life. You formed us in your own image, but we have marred that image and fall short of your glory. We give you thanks that you sent your Son to share our life. You gave him up to death that the world might be saved, and you raised him from the dead that we might live in him and he in us. Sanctify with your Spirit this bread and wine your gifts to us, that they may be for us the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. 
on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. As he has commanded us, Father, we remember Jesus Christ, your Son, proclaiming his victorious death, rejoicing in his resurrection, <clears throat> and waiting for him to come in glory. We bring you this bread, this cup. Accept our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Restore and revive your people. Renew us and all for whom we pray with your grace and heavenly blessing. And at the last, receive us with all your saints into that unending joy promised by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Led by the light of faith, let us lift up our eyes to heaven and call out to God our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. Lord God, the bright splendour whom the nations seek, may we who with the wise men have been drawn by your light discern the glory of your presence in your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Christ, the Son of God, gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Thank you.